It's inflation day. What will it be and how will it move the markets? This is what you need to know before the bell. So today, of course, is the March inflation data markets closely tuned to what that number is going to be because that has everything to do with what the Fed may do at their next FOMC meeting. Will they hike? Will they pause? All dependent on what this inflation data reads today. Expectations are right now that inflation will come in at about a 5.2% rate on a year-over-year basis, down from 6% last month. But expectations could be that we could see a below 5% reading. Now, a much weaker inflation print today will likely lead to a fairly sharp market rise. Now, again, market futures this morning are pointing higher right now. So if we do see a much weaker print, there's a large number of shorts against the S&P 500 right now, which could lead to about a 1% to 2% move higher in the S&P index today. If that read comes in hotter than expected, which would suggest that the Federal Reserve will continue to hike rates higher for longer, that could lead to a bit of a sell-off today as well, as much as 1% or 2%. So the, the reality is, is that how this number comes in today could lead to a rather sharp market move in one direction or the other on expectations of whether or not the Fed will pause. You know, the bulls are hoping here for a Fed pause, and that will lead to monetary accommodation coming right down the road here. And that's been one of the things driving the markets here over the last several months. Easier monetary conditions leads to higher stock prices. That's the way markets have been trained now for 12 years. So again, that's the hope that we're going to have. Markets have been performing rather bullishly as of late. MACD buy signals still intact. And of course, as we continue to hope that the Fed's going to pause or pivot, that's been helping fuel the bulls at this point. Again, this is all going to hinge on this inflation data today and how it reads, and most importantly, what it says about whether or not the Fed is getting inflation under control. Remember, the Fed's primary concern is not the level of inflation, but whether or not the trend of inflation is heading towards 2% in a rather sustained basis. That has been a very important point by Jerome Powell. He's repeated that numerous times. That's the one thing that we continue to watch for here. And a much weaker print today below that 5% level would suggest that now inflation is trending at a more sustained level towards 2%. That may get the Fed to back off here a bit on these rate hikes. Will it be enough to, to avert a recession? Who knows? But the point is, is that markets right now are hoping for that Fed pivot. I'm your host, Lance Roberts, and that's what you need to know before the bell.